ఇంగ్లీష్ మైక్ ఇచ్చారు కదా ఏదది ఇది ఆల్రెడీ ఉంది కదా నాకు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మైక్ టెస్టింగ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ
छोटी क्लासेस में उसके वजह से Namaskar. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 73rd Republic Day celebrations of India. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Bugler's fanfare announcing the arrival of the VVIP for the occasion. The Honorable Governor of the Telangana State and the Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry, Dr. Srimati Tamil Sai Saundar Rajan. Ladies and gentlemen, the VVIP for the occasion. Commander! She has been received and is being conducted to the dears by the Chief Secretary to the Government of Telangana, Sri Somesh Kumar IS, the Director General of Police, and the Secretary.
May I now request the Honorable Governor, Dr. Srimati Tamil Sai Soundarajan, to address the August gathering on this Republic Day. Namaskaram. Distinguished personalities, senior officers, Rajbhavan Parivar members, esteemed media friends, and my respectful frontline warriors, beloved people of Bharat, beloved people of Telangana state, I extend warm greetings to you all on the occasion of the 73rd Republic Day. This Republic Day assumes greater importance in view of the country celebrating 75 years of independence as the Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. The day is a major milestone in our country's history as it marks the coming into effect of the Indian Constitution in 1950. The Republic Day signifies the supremacy of the Constitution and highlights that the ultimate power rests with the people of the country. Thus, the country emerged and embarked on its journey as a Republic, where the people through their collective will can design the destiny of the country. Our Indian Constitution is the most comprehensive and is considered as one of the best Constitution in the world. The Indian Constitution is providing, proving to be time-tested and has successfully shaped the world's largest and vibrant democracy. It is the day that we must take oath to remember, respect and promote the core ideas like justice, liberty, equity and fraternity enshrined in our Indian Constitution. They are the founding principles to further strengthen the spirit of democratic republic. On this auspicious day, I salute the makers of Indian Constitution for gifting the country with one of the best and the most comprehensive constitutions in the world. I salute the vision of the luminaries of the Constituent Assembly. I pay my respects to salute the tireless effort of Bharat Ratna, Baba Saheb, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, as the chairman of the drafting committee. Republic Day is the day to remember the services and sacrifices and take inspiration from their great vision and for laying strong democratic ideals in our country through the Constitution. We must take pride as the spirit of democracy enshrined in our Constitution, our heritage and our shared values and culture. On this occasion, India is pro proudly reclaiming its real history and heritage by respecting the unsung heroes in a truly befitting manner. One such example is establishing the statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at the historic India Gate and thus replacing the colonial legacy with that of the legacy left by our true patriotic and brave heroes. India is moving forward and witnessing transformational changes in many sectors with the true spirit of Atma Nirbhar Bharat, as envisioned by our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji. It is high time that we all contribute an uh, outbid in shaping our country self-reliant in our respective fields. The development, production, and free distribution of our indigenous COVID vaccine are a true testimony to our spirit of self-reliance. The country has administered a record number of 160 plus crore vaccine doses and is marching forward to achieve the 200 crore vaccine doses mark in the months to come. India had also supplied its indigenously produced vaccine to more than 150 countries in the world. It is time to salute our scientists, doctors, paramedical staff, nurses and other frontline warriors for helping India implement the world's largest vaccine drive in a seamless manner. Thanks to the efforts of the scientists and the pharmacy specialists, India is now called the pharmacy of the world and as the vaccine capi capital of the world. India is emerging strong and secure by constantly modernizing and strengthening its defense system with new technologies. Getting stronger day by day, India is successfully facing numerous challenges internally and at the borders. We are also on a firm path 
to emerge atmanirbhar in our major defense requirements owing to the relentless efforts of our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji india is now considered as one of the important global powers the country is enjoying a pride place of its own among the committee of nations we must all acknowledge and contribute for country's efforts to emerge as the self reliant through quality education innovation research development and entrepreneurship india is steadily emerging as the innovation hub with the emerging of number of startup ta startups thanks to startup india initiative there is an all round promotion to startup ecosystem to promote innovation and business at all levels despite the repeated pandemic waves due to new variants and their impact on different sectors india through its sheer power and resilience has bounced back and it's witnessing faster economic growth we must ensure that the fruits of development reach all the sections of the people we need to make constant efforts to create equal opportunities and accessible condition with a special focus on the underprivileged sections i am glad to share that rajbhavan had also launched series of initiatives reach out the unreached the nutritional intervention to improve the nutritional status of the people belong to the primitive tribal group in selected districts like adilabad badadri kotagudam and nagar kurnool is one such special initiative through a multi pronged approach we are working to improve the livelihood health nutrition and employment opportunities for the people belonging to the primitive tribal groups similarly through atmanirbhar self employment training programs we are making constant efforts to economically empower the women initiatives like chancellor connects alumni and galvanizing the higher education system in the state with a series of programs to promote the national education policy 2020 are likely to have transformative impact in near future promoting education health nutrition entrepreneurship and employment opportunities among women are vital for the faster growth of telangana state and the nation i am happy that the younger state of telangana is making rapid strides in different areas the hyderabad is fast emerging as the pharma hub it hub the medical hub and is witnessing the establishment of offices by many global corporate offices i wish the telangana state to emerge as the leader in quality higher education and consolidate its position as innovation hub through the constant efforts by promoting innovation ecosystem and take the lead in contributing for realization of the self reliant india i am happy that i am happy and i appreciate the bountiful crop production in our state in the process telangana state has emerged as the rice bowl of india in the recent past i salute the farmers for the toil despite the pandemic conditions they have produced a bumper harvest thus ensuring food security to millions of people on this auspicious occasion of our country 73rd republic day i once again appeal to you all to strengthen our democratic ideals by adhering to the core values of justice liberty equity equality and fraternity enshrined in the indian constitution as a mark of our real tribute to the architects of indian constitution it is high time that we all rededicate our, ourselves to the cause of the creating strong secure sustainable prosperous and self reliant india india of the dreams of our great freedom fighters and the makers of our constitution the pandemic has taught us a lot of lessons we have to improve the government hospital setup that is the lesson and our honorable prime minister has given a medical college for a district and telangana is going to get eight medical colleges so improving the infrastructure medical infrastructure particularly we are proud of having such institutions like osmania university medical university and it is our duty to improve the medical uh, infrastructure the government medical structure which is the last hope of the a uh, common man and be strong and be courageous that is the lesson taught by the pandemic to the youngsters and a word for the youngsters in this republic day
Let the people be your God. Think of them. Work for them. Pray for them. Incessantly, the Lord will show you the way. How I call a Mahatma whose heart bleeds for the poor. Other who is a Duratma. Let us unite our wills in continued prayer for their good. These are the words of the Saint Vivekananda. Do good to the people who are even harming you. Inna seidarai oruttal, avar nana nannayam seidividal are the words of the great Tiruvalvar. Please do good for the people who are all harming you also. So that is the message. And my message, be good. Be good to the people and be good to yourself. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Telangana. Thank you, madam, for the inspiring address on this Republic Day. I request you all to rise. Come on, God! Rise, rise, Lord! Salame! You may all be seated, please. The police contingent commander, inspector of police, Shri Srinivas, leading the contingent comprising of 34 police personnel from the 3rd Battalion, Telangana State Special Police, has now sought the permission from the Honorable Governor for the contingent to march off. As the curtains come down on this occasion, I wish you all a happy Republic Day and a safe year ahead. I thank the press, the electronic media, and the senior officers of the state who have gathered here at this prestigious Raj Bhavan launch to be a part of this ceremony. A special thanks to the Commandant C. Sunny of the 3rd Battalion, Telangana State Special Police, who has coordinated the entire program as a liaison officer for this day's celebrations, and to Sri C.B. Chhatri, who has conducted the ban in attendance. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>